through working with, at Balmer and working on these parks, I realized that um, you know, if, if I was going to really start my own firm, it should be as a landscape architect, not as an architect. And I needed a degree in order to do that. First I went down to met with McHarg, whose career I'd followed, and I was a great admirer of his books, and, um, and he gave me the old Scottish, you know what. <laughs> and, um, but, uh, and I think he would have, I could have gotten in there if I'd pushed it. But then I went up to Harvard and I met with Hideo Sasaki, and he looked at my portfolio and he said I could get a degree, a master's degree in a year. So I said, why would I, why wouldn't I not accept that and get, get in and out quickly? Which probably was a mistake. I probably would have been much better off going to McCarg and learning all of that, that ecological design stuff because it was very interesting to me. But I took the easy way out and went to Harvard. And I knew that I didn't know very much. There were a lot of trees I couldn't identify and I really wanted to learn as much as I could during the time I was at Harvard. And Joe Hudak was great. He would drag us out every Saturday morning through the Arboretum and, and then he'd quiz us on twig identification. My God, I don't think I could do that any longer. But I used to be able to identify trees by their twigs. Carl Steinitz, who really sort of invented computer-aided planning, I would say, with the grid programs, which I found also very interesting. I was never, I did use it a little bit later, but it was, I never really had the opportunities to use it as much as I would have liked to. But it was a very good stimulus and a way of thinking, made you think differently about the planning process. The art project was how I paid my way through school, first of all, but it was more interesting because I was brought in by these sort of hippie group of designers and promoters who wanted to open up a discotheque in the Boston industrial area. And they found this huge warehouse, one-story warehouse, and asked me to design it, which I did. And we had a lot of fun together. Painted on the floor and did stuff with the ceilings and lots of stuff with lights, psychedelic lights, which of course we were all stoned out of our minds, I'm sure. But it was a great success, and it, you know, for a long, quite a long time, the Ark was the was the place to be and the place to go.